Hi, my name is Corinne Tucky Laris. I am a staff physician here at Virginia Physicians for Women. This is the beginning of a new year and we hope that you've made some good resolutions in the way of better health. This month, January, is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. We're here to discuss the importance of pap smears and the avoidance of some things that can lead to cervical, cervical changes that may lead to cancer. HPV is one of the most common causes of cervical cancer. HPV has actually been or can be avoided in young women with the advent of the Gardasil injections. We certainly encourage you to obtain information about HPV injections with your, with your physicians. Gardasil is given in a, in a series of three shots and we do encourage young women to obtain this. Generally, it's covered by insurance up to the age of 26. There are certainly some lifestyle changes that can add to the prevention of cervical changes. Smoking, multiple sex partners, secondhand smoke, and lifestyle changes that might include some exercise, eat healthy eating choices, etc., may actually prove to be beneficial to prevent any sort of cervical, can of cervical cell changes. There are new guidelines out about following pap smears. We certainly encourage you to follow up with your physician as far as what they believe to be the best for you. The guideline changes are very confusing and we appreciate a lot of people having questions about them. I encourage my patients to pursue annual checkups. Whether or not a pap smear is performed at that time is really something you and your physician can decide upon. Certainly from the standpoint of an annual exam, much more goes into prevention and counseling every year that should be taken into account. We certainly hope you gain something from this little snippet and we encourage you to follow up with your physicians.